Welcome back. I'm Mabel Jong. This is continuing coverage of the World Healthcare Congress in Washington, D.C., and a very special welcome to our guests who are joining us virtually. In our studio is John Carew, who is Chief Commercial Officer of Restore Health. Welcome to you. Thank you. Now, what is uh, the function of Restore Health? So Restore Health is a digital technology company focused on chronic disease reversal. And what's unique about uh, Restore Health is we have a technology which is a scalable, secure technology that's fast and easy to use. But what we do is we actually pair it with coaches and tie it with interpersonal communications with our uh, members that have chronic disease mm -hmm. to get them to work to make small incremental changes in their life on a daily basis mm -hmm. which amount to very si clinically significant changes mm -hmm. around hypertension, obesity, and dyslipidemia. Okay, and are you finding that people with these conditions um, do better with that kind of support through a digital platform? Yes. Uh, we definitely do, and there's a several reasons for that. We, what we've seen is the trends in the last five years is that people do have greater access to technology, whereas five years ago, people may not, uh, the prevalence of smartphones may not have been there, and the access of data may have been prohibitive for them to actually have access to them. Th that is making them it easier to access the technology, but then also engaging the members on a regular daily basis through this technology to make small changes okay. is what really adds up. And, and our members are engaging significantly up to three to five times per day with their coaches. Okay, so what kind of message? Well, first of all, who are the coaches? Yep, so we have a myriad of coaches that we have that have different multi-specialties depending on what the uh, needs are of the members. Um, so it really runs the gamut of different coaches from clinical to exercise physiologists to um, registered dietitians. So are people just getting pings, little messages, reminding them of to do this and not to do that? It's a combination. Um, we, focus, we focus on small changes and small habits around, st around stress, around sleep, and around nutrition. That's and where we start. Give me and an example of what a message might be. So a message might be, um, if I'm looking at my nutrition, one of the things I may want to do is start tracking my nutrition. So um, by using our technology, I can take a picture of what I'm having for breakfast today, my tea that's black, and sending it to my coach. Okay. And my coach may be commenting back with a text that says, where's your protein this morning? Or how come you're not having fruit with that? So it's little easy engagements that are helping me make small changes, and I'm building on them every day so that we can have better habits that are sustainable. And you're not getting the feeling that people are maybe kind of nagged by this or maybe don't want that kind of constant sort of needling, if you will? Yeah, no, I understand that, and, and I, I could see where that would be a concern, but it's really not because it's the the coach E or the member mm -hmm. that's engaging with the coach as much or as little as they want to. Mm -hmm. to. So they're really driving the engagement. Mm -hmm. And the application that we have is so easy to use for the coach as well as the member mm -hmm. that there's a, many different ways they can do it. They could be engaging directly with their coaches. They could go to a group session where we have live TV sessions where you can opt into a, ses a session that may be of interest to you. It may be on yoga or it may be on um, eating healthy while traveling um, and you can opt into that class mm -hmm. and uh, you'll be part of a group session. Yes. So it can be individual or it can be group or it can be recorded sessions where they could be watching a video or they can be reading on their own. Are you seeing in your data, John, that chronic illnesses are on the rise? If you look at the numbers, I think we've all seen it, and that's why you know there's so much stress. I mean, so much focus on that right now. If you look at the CDC numbers, the obesity rates, the rates of type two, type two diabetes across the country, unfortunately, they they just continue to go in the wrong direction. Um, so that's really where there's a need for our services across the country. And what's the reason behind the uptick in this trend? In the health status, I think a big it ha there there are many different reasons for it, but part of it has to do with the, our culture, what are we eating, what is the food industry producing, and, and what kind of advertising is out there, and the ease of eating, making poor choices. That's where plugging in with something like Restore Health in our app on a daily basis and our coaching experience can get people to make small, tiny habits 
which will add up to big changes. And the big changes that we see are the clinical measures which we measure coming out of the program. Because what we'll do, we have a guaranteed pricing program which is unique to our program as well, where our employers are only paying for people that are successful. So if you're coming in with elevated, um, with an elevated BMI or elevated um, A1C or hypertension or dyslipidemia, those are the numbers that we're actually moving and our employers are only paying for those people that are successful to come through the program. So it's engaged members that are making lifestyle changes that can be uh, tested through blood work. All right. John Carew, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank really you so much for your time. It. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. Thanks. And I'm Mabel Jong. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Thanks.